R14. R14 is a repository of electronic preprints approved for publication after moderation. It consists of scientific papers in the fields of mathematics, physics, astronomy, electrical engineering, computer science, quantitative biology, statistics, and mathematical finance, which can be accessed online. In many fields of mathematics and physics, Almost all scientific papers are self-archived in the R14 repository. Begun on August 14, 1991, R14.org passed the half-million article milestone on October 3, 2008, and had hit a million by the end of 2014. By October 2016 the submission rate had grown to more than 10,000 per month. R14 was made possible by the low-bandwidth text file format, which allowed scientific papers to be easily transmitted over the Internet and rendered client-side. Around 1990, Joanne Cohn began emailing physics preprints to colleagues as text files, but the number of papers being sent soon filled mailboxes to capacity. Paul Ginspark recognized the need for central storage, and in August 1991 he created a central repository mailbox stored at the Los Alamos National Laboratory which could be accessed from any computer. Additional modes of access were soon added, FTP in 1991, Gopher in 1992, and the World Wide Web in 1993. The term ePrint was quickly adopted to describe the articles. It began as a physics archive, called the LANL Preprint Archive, but soon expanded to include astronomy, mathematics, computer science, quantitative biology and, most recently, statistics. Its original domain name was 30lanl.gov. Due to LANL's lack of interest in the rapidly expanding technology, in 2001 Jens Park changed institutions to Cornell University and changed the name of the repository to r14.org. It is now hosted principally by Cornell, with eight mirrors around the world. Its existence was one of the precipitating factors that led to the current movement in scientific publishing known as open access. Mathematicians and scientists regularly upload their papers to r14.org for worldwide access and sometimes for reviews before they are published in peer reviewed journals. Jin Spark was awarded a MacArthur Fellowship in 2002 for his establishment of R14. The annual budget for R14 is approximately $826,000 for 2013 to 2017 funded jointly by Cornell University Library, the Simons Foundation and annual fee income from member institutions. This model arose in 2010, when Cornell sought to broaden the financial funding off project by asking institutions to make annual voluntary contributions based on the amount of download usage by each institution. Each member institution pledges a five-year funding commitment to support R14. Based on institutional usage ranking, the annual fees are set in four tiers from $1,000 to $4,400. Cornell's goal is to raise at least $504,000 per year through membership fees generated by approximately 220 institutions. In September 2011, Cornell University Library took overall administrative and financial responsibility for R14's operation and development. Jins Park was quoted in the Chronicle of Higher Education as saying it was supposed to be a three hour tour, not a life sentence. However, Jins Park remains on the R14 Scientific Advisory Board and on the R14 Physics Advisory Committee. Although R14 is not peer reviewed, a collection of moderators for each area review the submissions, they may recategorize any that are deemed off topic, or reject submissions that are not scientific papers. The lists of moderators for many sections of R14 are publicly available, but moderators for most of the physics sections remain unlisted. Additionally, an endorsement system was introduced in 2004 as part of an effort to ensure content is relevant and of interest to current research in the specified disciplines. Under the system, for categories that use it, an author must be endorsed by an established R14 author before being allowed to submit papers to those categories. Endorsers are not asked to review the paper for errors, but to check whether the paper is appropriate for the intended subject area. New authors from recognized academic institutions generally receive automatic endorsement, which in practice means that they do not need to deal with the endorsement system at all. However, the endorsement system has attracted criticism for allegedly restricting scientific inquiry. A majority of the e-prints are also submitted to journals for publication, but some work, including some very influential papers, remain purely as e-prints on Dare never published in a peer-review journal.
A well-known example of the latter is an outline of a proof of Thurston's geometrization conjecture, including the Poincaré conjecture as a particular case, uploaded by Gregory Perelman in November 2002. Perelman appears content to forego the traditional peer-reviewed journal process, stating, If anybody is interested in my way of solving the problem, it's all there let them go and read about it. Despite this non-traditional method of publication, other mathematicians recognized this work by offering the Fields Medal and Clay Mathematics Millennium Prizes to Perelman, both of which he refused. Papers can be submitted in any of several formats, including LaTeX, and PDF printed from a word processor rather than TeX or LaTeX. The submission is rejected by the R14 software if generating the final PDF file fails, if any image file is too large, or if the total size of the submission is too large. R14 now allows one to store and modify an incomplete submission, and only finalize the submission when ready. The timestamp on the article is set when the submission is finalized. The standard access route is through the r14.org website or one of several mirrors. Several other interfaces and access routes have also been created by other unassociated organizations. These include the University of California, Davis's Front, a web portal that offers additional search functions and a more self-explanatory interface for r14.org, and is referred to by some mathematicians as Front. A similar function used to be offered by a printweb.org, launched in September 2006 by the Institute of Physics, and was switched off on June 30, 2014. Carnegie Mellon provides Table, a search engine for tables extracted from R14 publications. Google Scholar and Live Search Academic can also be used to search for items in R14. A full text and author search engine for R14 is provided by Scientillion. Finally, researchers can select subfields and receive daily emailings or RSS feeds off all submissions in them. Files on R14 can have a number of different copyright statuses. While R14 does contain some dubious prints, such as those claiming to refute famous theorems or proving famous conjectures such as Fermat's last theorem using only high school mathematics, they are surprisingly rare. R14 generally reclassifies these works, for example in general mathematics, rather than deleting them. However, some authors have voiced concern over the lack of transparency in the R14 screening process. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.